All right, a look at the tail of the tape reveals the fact that physically these two men are matched up actually pretty equally. The big difference, of course, Pinnell at 39, um, 15 years the senior of Roman Greenberg. But beyond that, they're very, very similar in size and makeup. And um, Pinnell has struggled in recent fights. He has one and seven Let's in go. his last eight. So that's not too good a record for him to be coming in here with. But um, his issue is conditioning. He has frequently not been able to train for fights with his regular job. And um, the one fight he did train for, he, where he took a month off against Patrice Leroux in uh, Canada, he knocked him out in one round. But around that, some losses to big names that Sean mentioned, losing to Jamil McCline, Ray Mercer, Franz Fortra. And um, so he's struggled, but he thinks that Roman Greenberg's untested enough for him to get the job done. But we'll see. And I'll tell you what, Roman Greenberg is a fighter who fights with a lot of heart and a lot of ability. No, 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 he no, 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 puts no, no, a lot of pressure Steve, on him, Steve, and he will now, right? make cool. Steve Pinnell fight. And that's important if you're going to try to knock out a fighter like Steve Pinnell. Pinnell can stay in there as long as you don't put pressure on him. He uses jab. He's quick enough. He's good enough. He walks around. But if somebody presses him like Roman Greenberg will, it'll be a problem for Steve. Look at that. Look at those foot feints. Nice work. Just faint your, your opponent out of position. Now, make him pay. After you faint, after you foot faint him, then rack him. Let him have it. One shot. Counter right hand by Pinnell as Roman Greenberg comes in with his own right. Greenberg, born in Russia, moved to Israel in 1993, now resides in England. And he is very happy, as we mentioned, that this fight is being beamed back to Israel. There's oh, the jab by Pinnell. Yeah, and he, he feels that's going to be a big, big weapon for him in this fight. And early on, it is. And that is his best punch, that jab. And it's Sean, it just set up the right hand for Pinnell. Most important punch in boxing. Look how he flips it up. He holds that left hand down, Pinnell does. And he flips up with the jab. Try to knock your opponent's head up in the air so you can hit it with a cross. Just over a minute left to go in a round in which Steve Pinnell Hey, has hey, made hey. some good things happen. Greenberg with that left uh -huh. hook that just kind of glances off the head of Pinnell. We're winding down to round one of this 10 rounder, the second of our heavyweight encounters. Surprised that Greenberg is giving so much room here in this first round. He's giving a lot of respect. Not much pressure coming from him. Already a little redness around the, underneath the eyes of Roman Greenberg as Pinnell uses the jab in the straight right hand. I'd like to see Roman start off at the body and then work his way up to the head, too, like we saw with, with Marone. So Steve Pinnell has himself a pretty good first round here in his bid to upset the apple cart of Roman Greenberg. Kind of awkward finish to round one, but a round in which uh, Steve Pinnell will be happy. Let's uh, hear what they're saying in Roman Greenberg's uh, corner. Use your speed a little bit more, right? You're jamming well and you're fighting well. Don't take this job too long. All right? You all right? Yeah. Concentrate all the time. All right? You're fighting well. What's the new one? The problem is the left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Okay? Now we. Well, a pretty good first round for Steve Pinnell. Here's a couple of jabs from him. You know, that's his best weapon. If he get that jab moving, just keep it out there. It'll give Green Greenberg all kinds of trouble. So Greenberg trying to counter that jab, but uh, pretty elusive in there. Roman Greenberg. Deep breath, and he's ready to go back to work. Round number two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, please. We move into the second round. Roman Greenberg in the black trunks, Steve Pinnell in the white. Pinnell, the 39-year-old veteran. Uh, Greenberg, the 24-year-old undefeated young heavyweight. And uh, not round one, not exactly as Greenberg and his people had drawn them out. He called Pinnell a sneaky, dangerous fighter, and I can't take this lightly. Well, he found out that he's sneaky, dangerous in round one. And that could be why he was so cautious in that first round. In the fights that I've seen in the past, he's been extremely aggressive, yeah. Greenberg has. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, a little more cautious here in 
um, approaching Pinnell. Should Greenberg be trying to get on the inside? Is he at, at uh, you know, is that a better place for him? Well, I think that the outside is the way Pinnell likes to fight. He likes to fight in his tempo, his speed, and he controls that from the outside with that jab. If you get on top of him, you take that away from him. I think that Greenberg at this point is giving Pinnell what Steve wants. Pinnell said that he thinks of himself as kind of the guardian at the gate. He said, you know, I've trained with uh, Oliver McCall and Michael Moore, and he said, I'm the keeper of the gate here to make sure that Greenberg doesn't leapfrog too past over that gate. Well, well, we'll see if he can do that. He said, I enjoy being a spoiler, Steve Pinnell, and that's what he's trying to be this evening. We're almost halfway through round number two. Some blood from the nose of Roman Greenberg, and Pinnell said he had seen a fight in which Greenberg's nose was bloodied, and he said, I'll do that to him uh, with the jab. And as long as... Greenberg stays on the outside like mm -hmm. this. Pinnell can utilize that jab and step around and stay on the outside and use the long reach. The body Bring work up, by Pinnell as he continues to frustrate Roman Greenberg. Of course, Greenberg has good power, so this is very early in the fight, but so far, Steve Pinnell strategically, as Sean has pointed out, having things his own way. It's just textbook boxing. Now he's using the jab, the cross. Look how straight the punches of Pinnell are. For Greenberg, he's trying to go to the outside, the hooks. Now getting a bloody nose like that, especially early in the fight, is extremely dangerous because what that is, it's a shock to see the red. The blood is a shock. That's why all the stop signs are red. It's a shock. It <laughs> makes you, it's something that draws your eyes. What that does to the judges is they, they, they see that as pain or his blood as a, as a weakness. I've never, so, heard, I've never heard you make that analogy to a stop sign. That's why I always tried to hold my blood in. If I ever got cut, I just tried to I just concentrate on holding my blood in. <laughs> Good right hand by Greenberg on the inside. He's making a few things happen, but as the seconds tick down on round number two, Again, a very good round for Steve Pinnell, and they'll have to work on that nose of Roman Greenberg. So that'll do it for round number two. Break time! That's a good job. Watch the back of the head. Talked about the danger of a, a nose bleeding and the shock that it is for the judges, but also how you have to get the coagulant to the cut. And it's difficult to do if you can't see it. You can't see up in the nose where that cut is exactly in the nose. And they're very difficult to stop, nosebleeds. Once you get a nosebleed, you know, like a head wound, it bleeds a lot. Well, here's a look at the right cross right on the nose. That uh, appears to be where the blood started. Once more, the same shot. Look at walking into this with the hands down is Greenberg and crack right on the nose. That smarts. Round number three in this scheduled 10 rounder. Roman Greenberg in the black trunk, Steve Pinnell in the white. A good start for Steve Pinnell. And how good a start, Sean? Did you give him the first two rounds? I did. All right. We're in agreement. Okay. I'm sure there were 10, nine rounds. 18. Uh, these are 10 point must system. The winner of the round must get 10 points. Pinnell continues to use the jab. The jab is such a such a difficult weapon to defend against. Greenberg keeping his hands low. See that left hand down by his waist protecting his hip? I'd like to see him get that up there, but in front of that nose. <laughs> he gets hit on the nose a few more times, he's going to start bleeding once again. It's a good thought, that's for sure. Now, Pinnell has not, a point to be made is, he has not gone more than three rounds in his last eight fights. So while he's doing well here, and he hasn't been 10 rounds since 1994. Hey, so you have to Roman. understand back, that as on. this fight wears on for 39-year-old Steve Pinnell, there could be issues. But for watch now, head, at Steve. this moment, things are going Steve. well for him. Nice little short right hand by Greenberg on the inside. Issues, you're right, Al, but he is controlling the pace and the tempo of this fight. Pinnell is. And as long as he has that control, he's okay. There's a wow. huge right hand. Well, there's That's the power it. of Roman Greenberg. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
Five, and that is the equalizer. Six, so for all the seven, good work Steve Pinnell was eight, doing, that right hand nine. neutralized it. To the gloves. Wow. Walk, now let's walk. see how well Pinnell let's can go. shake this off. Another beautiful right. In the same place, the same way. Four, Pinnell saying five, he pushed me. Yeah, he six, pushed you with a right cross. Seven, <laughs> eight, nine. How you doing? Let's go. A minute left to go or a little bit less. And Roman Greenberg trying to end it here in this round. Left hand and the right uppercut. And this one's a look back at how these knockdowns happen. It started with a good straight right hand that landed perfectly. And uh, the first really, I think, solid punch from the outside, especially the Greenberg had landed in this fight. The jab set it up, and even though the jab didn't land, um, the right hand got in there perfectly. And Pinnell was never quite the same at this point. And then the second knockdown came also from a good right hand. Now, it is true the left kind of pushed him a little, but it was a big right hand before that, and Steve Pinnell lobbying from the mat. But the fight would be ended uh, with the next knockdown after this one. And the third knockdown ended the fight. Good left hook, and there was an uppercut in here. Roman Greenberg has an excellent uppercut. We saw it in the footage of him beating Varakin. But uh, he's got a good arsenal of punches, and so as he works his way through some of the defensive issues that we saw obvious here in the early rounds, Roman Greenberg brings that.